Welcome back to another episode of Web Untapped, and today I'm here with Perry, my brother-in-law. What's up? And we're gonna be trying out this new one from Budweiser called Budweiser Nitro Reserve Gold. Let me give you guys a little sneak preview of that. Coming in at 5% alcohol by volume, so it's pretty standard. That's exactly what the, uh, the normal Budweiser is, so. Um, there are instructions to this, so we can't just pop it open and, and get to it, unfortunately. But it says to flip the can three times, open, pour hard, and wait for it. So we'll do just that. So one, two, three, and uh, we'll go ahead and just pop this open. Okay. Surprised it didn't spray all over. Yeah, I was actually expecting to get wet there, so, uh, I'm actually glad that didn't happen. So I'm pouring hard. So we'll start with you. Give me some of that. And I like to pour hard too. I like to see how much head this is going to produce. So a couple more there. Boom. All right. So pretty. Yeah, it's got a pretty good head on it. Right off the bat, there you notice that. So we'll put this in here. All right. So what do you think in color wise? Right off the bat. It's got a nice caramel color to it. I like the nice little uh, frothy head there. Looks yeah, good. Yeah, it um, looks very similar just to a normal Budweiser. Nothing, you know, n normally uh, I, I thought being, being a nitro would be a lot darker. Um, some of the nitros that I've had, you know, in other styles of beer, um, I know there's some great companies locally around here that do a uh, coffee nitro, and that's, that's awesome, so. I'm excited about this. You know, I, I saw this on a commercial one night a couple of weeks back, and I think I even texted you like, hey, I think Budweiser just came out with a nitro beer, and, and nitro is the hottest thing right now, right? Um, you know, they're putting it in beer, they're putting it in coffees, so I got excited when I saw this one, so I'm hoping not to be let down. So let's give it a sniff, and uh, we'll get to the good stuff here. So, I mean, malty. I'd say yeah. it's just a typical Budweiser, just it's very malty, it's yeah. the best way to put it. That's all I can get out of it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, your typical... Not too much. It doesn't smell any different than a normal Budweiser, yeah. so... We're, let's just taste the damn thing. All right, right cheers. cheers. Okay. It's creamy. It is creamy. It's, it's very smooth, creamy. Though. Smooth. It's, it's smooth, it's creamy. You know what's weird? I know it's a nitro, but it almost tastes to me like a flat Budweiser. Yeah, I was gonna say, it didn't have any flavor. It, yeah, yeah, it's, and I get it. Nitro is supposed to be creamy and smooth, and it's very creamy and smooth, but, ah, man, I don't know. I, I think nitro is good when there's a, a strong flavor present already, but when you put nitro into something that maybe necessarily doesn't have a big burst of flavor, I don't know if it's if it pairs well, personally. Yeah. I agree with you. Oh man, I'm, I'm, let's give it another test and let's just All see right. if maybe we missed something. Yeah, let's 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 give it another try here. So hang on one second here. It's, I mean, it's not bad, but I mean, I'm not gonna dog it. It's it's not like the worst thing I've ever had. I was just really excited about it. I mean, yeah, I was I really excited. I think the hype was a little bit more than uh, than it came out to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just average, you know. Um, I don't, know. I don't know that I'd run to the store to buy it. No, no. And honestly, I don't know that I'd probably buy it again, honestly. There's really not a, a, a time, like, so a lot of the beers we drink, right? They're, South Florida, it's hot. So they're, hey, listen, this is great by the pool. This is great by the beach. You know, this, this, and that. Um, some of the heavier stuff, oh man, I'd love to have this with dinner, or this, or that. There's just really not a place for this for me. It's, there's not really a time, like I don't really want to rush in, out to grab this and, and drink it by the pool or, or or by the beach, even that. I don't want to have it with dinner, you know? Yeah. It's it's one of those like uh, novelty items where you just want to kind of try it and, and say you did and, and kind of go from there, you yeah. know? Yeah, um, you make a good point. It's kind of like you just try it to try it. Yeah, just because the hype's real, you yeah. know? When the hype's there, you, you kind of want to, you know, see what the fuss is about, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's nothing special. I mean, um, not saying you shouldn't go out and try it, but you know, so let me, let me give it one more sip here. And uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, the head, the head pretty much stayed there, you know. Um, pairing wise, I think you could 
pizza. Yeah. Burger. Yeah. Hot dogs. Yeah. I mean, Nothing extravagant. No, your normal, you're grilling on the grill, yeah. and you got some grilled chicken. I don't know. Maybe just a potato knish. Yeah. <laughs> the potato knish it is. Yeah, no, it's your normal parents. It's just a, a traditional, you know, American beer. You know, it is nothing special at, at all, yeah. personally. So, um, let's rate it. Uh, zero to ten. Let's go first. What do you think? Um, well, you know, I like, I like the creamy flavor of it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not overpowering. Um, I think it's kind of cool about the nitro. Yeah, that's a nice um, touch. So I'll probably give it like a five point three. <laughs> So 5.3, wow, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty low. Well, go ahead and explain yourself. Why, why do you think 5.3? You know, listen, I mean, you know, when I first, when I first tried it, it didn't really have like that carbonation to it. And, and I get that it's, you know, nitro. Um, but when I think of a beer, I think of something that's, you know, bubbly, you know, kind of refreshing. You know, this is something that like, my brother's always going to the bars <laughs> and looking for the specials, you know, he'll look up there, hey, you know, what's, what's, where, what can I buy one and get like two free, you know? And if that's on the board, I'm still not buying. It. Yeah, yeah, he you loves know? specials. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right, hundred percent. Okay, well, that's that's a fair grade. Um, I wasn't as harsh on them as that. <laughs> um, I've had some worse on on the program, but I went six four on it. Um, you know, I don't I don't want to I don't want to dog it to too much, um, but it's you know for me to really have another beer again, it's got to be in the sevens. And it didn't come anywhere near that. Yeah, it just you know. didn't do it for me. I mean, I, we, we know that we got to stick with the first scoring. The more I talk about it, the more I want to go lower. You know, <laughs> it's like this 6 2 maybe worked a little better. I don't know. But yeah, so listen, if you're somewhere and someone has it, you know, feel free to pop one open and ask them if you can have it and, and try it. But to go out and run out and buy a six pack or a 12 pack, I just feel like you're going to be disappointed, to be honest with you. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But hey, listen, we tried it and uh, it wasn't for us, but it could be for you. So, well guys, that's our review on uh, Budweiser uh, Nitro Gold Reserve. And uh, we appreciate you stopping by. Please, 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 I forgot to mention this earlier. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, tap it, whatever you gotta do, just hit them both. Boom, boom, done with it. And that's it, that's all I ask, all right? So we'll see you on the next one, all right? Bye.